Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies tutorial here on Horizon Drac. Now this video is a video that I uploaded yesterday, but it's actually fixed. I uploaded the guide to get the wolf bow, but I left out two steps and I wanted to redo it and include those steps for you guys so it's a lot easier to follow. Then I'm going to pick back up on the video uh, where I left off actually. So keep in mind guys that my friend Mr. Zombie Clutch was the one that provided the gameplay play in the later half of the video but I went back and recorded these parts myself and I really need to fix this because I didn't want to upload incomplete guides and get people mad because I felt really bad about it so the first thing you need to do guys is you're actually going to have to get paintings now they're in a different order every single time that you do this there's four paintings so the first one is going to be but at the end of the hall in Samantha's room and you'll see the two wolf icons stay on the painting if that is the next one in the order now the next one that for me was over here at the top of the stairs in the Eagle's Nest control room and you'll see those two heads right there now keep in mind guys like I said they change every single game they could be different so just keep that in mind they're not always going to be in the same order the next one for me was here in the clock tower and the last one was on the left hand side of spawn at this painting now after you do this you'll hear a wolf like roar or uh, like yell I guess you could say and then you know that you did that step right then you make your way down to the pyramid room and across from it you're gonna see the bow right there so that's what you pick up and I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the tutorial sorry about yesterday and I'll see you guys later peace you bring the wrath of the ancients down to the launch area you're gonna shoot up this rocket or not rocket the flag and there's uh, like one of those iron cross flags it, basically a skull rolls down the side of the mountain and you pick it up you just go up to it press square press x if you're on xbox bada bada bing so it, honestly this is probably the coolest easter egg i've ever seen in zombies ever it's it's absolutely insane you guys are going to be mind blown by this so then you go back down to the mpd area and you go up to the wolf box now he wasn't sure if he held square long enough you have to hold it for a while and then eventually a little oh my gosh guys a wolf that is like a ghost spawns and you need to follow this thing around the map now basically what's going to end up happening is it's going to go to three different dig spots this is actually where you're going to be getting more pieces for the bow and how you actually upgrade it so the first one is going to be right over here right outside of the main computer control area the eagle's nest i guess you could call it so he's gonna dig up a little bit and you need to kill zombies right near it and you need to get 10 to 15 kills it's gonna end up charging that area now once you charge the area then the dog is actually gonna walk back to it and pretend to dig again and he was running away here because he thought he was going to go down he's a little bit scared and then you just press square or x if you're on xbox to pick up the item now there's three different areas like i said so that was the first one the next one is going to be over here now this is on the right hand side of spawn right near double tap and you're going to do the same exact thing and then the last and final one is going to be back downstairs right next to where the pack-a-punch box either is or where you send the pieces up to where you want the pack-a-punch to be so he was using monkeys in this gameplay because he did not want to go down he basically threw the monkeys out because it's a really tight space and that really helped him up so now he picked up the last piece now what you need to do is if you guys didn't know downstairs there's anti-gravity mode and the dog's gonna stay like that now once you activate anti-gravity mode you actually go over here and there's gonna be a hole in the wall you shoot the wrath of ancients crossbow in there and there's a little lever and it will cause a platform to spawn up now what you do is you actually jump back up on the platform and you just stand there and literally out of nowhere a skull comes up and gives you the arrow this is like the coolest thing I've ever seen guys it's honestly so cool like I can't believe it it's just absolutely amazing so one once this happens then you just bring the bow back to the actual box for the wolf and then you charge souls there by getting kills 
of zombies and that's that's basically the upgrade guys so make sure you guys go subscribe to mr zombie clutch he's an absolutely amazing youtuber i'm not joking you guys like i don't even know how he was able to do this it's just absolutely crazy so go subscribe to him guys thank you so much for watching the video hope you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more black ops 3 zombies content on Horizon Drac and the maps to come and just other stuff in general i'll see you guys later peace